I don't understand why Big Business is such a popular film. Apart from maybe five minutes of it, I thought it was terrible. And I have specific reasons for that as well. This was released in 1988, directed by Jim Abrams, uh, written by Dory Pearson and Mark Reed Rubel, and stars Beth Midler and Lily Tomlin as Sadie and Rose, and also as Sadie and Rose. And that's one of the first things that annoyed me. It's about these two sets of twins where one of the babies from each twin was switched at birth. So we have two non-identical, seemingly twins, uh, Rose and Sadie. However, the other twins are also called Rose and Sadie or Sadie and Rose. And I just feel like, what's the odds of that? I don't buy into this. You've made it too easy without putting any effort into this. And that's from the beginning. And initially, I thought we were getting a really interesting film, a really interesting concept where the sisters all need to go to New York for this important business meeting. And obviously, we're waiting for them to meet. Something's going to happen. There's going to be some kind of mistaken identity because they are identical, two sets of identical twins, if that makes sense. And nothing happens for 90% of the film. It's just the same joke over and over again. Here's one of the twins. Oh, somebody thinks it's the other person. And that would be interesting if the things that were happening were interesting, but the actual events themselves were so boring and so slow and it wore thin really quickly. And I'd say after the first 20 minutes, I'd say once one once once we got to New York and we realised they were both going to be trying or staying in the same hotel. After that kind of was established, nothing happens for the majority of the film. I will talk about the ending with a spoiler warning in a moment, because actually the ending wasn't too bad, but not worth the journey. It's not the case that the ending was great, but the journey was boring, but it's worth sitting through. I would not recommend this film. I also feel like Bette Midler's characters were too similar. There were times when I couldn't work out which she was meant to be. When she was on screen with Lily Tomlin, I could tell because Lily Tomlin's characters were distinctly different and it was very easy to tell which which of the characters she was playing at any one time. Not the case with Beth Midler. And that's nothing against Beth Midler's performance. I feel like her characters were really badly written. Whereas... Lily Tomlin's characters are either end of the spectrum. You know, one's very shy and very nervous and the other one's very strict and demanding and, you know, headstrong. And, and is she has a mission, she's going for it. Beth Midler's characters were boring and poorly written and a little bit too middle of the road. They weren't at either end of the extreme, I don't think. They were too similar. And I feel like that was a terrible decision. A lot of their clothing as well for Beth Midler's characters were quite similar as well, whereas with Lily Tomlin's characters, their clothing was quite different. And you could tell just by looking at them which it was. So I feel like the characters weren't very great. And with regards to all of the supporting characters, they were all so boring, so dull. And also, where were the other women? There were, like, no other female characters in this. And there are, of course, one or two, but generally there aren't any. And and I thought that was a bit, not of an issue of sort, but I just thought it was a bit peculiar. So it's so, actually, I say there are no other women in it. Mary Gross is in it. I love that. Mrs. Quick from Sabrina, you know, she's one of the faces of my childhood. So she being in it was great, um, but she's not in it very much. But the narrative is boring, repetitive poorly developed. The characters are, certainly Beth Midler's characters, are too similar to be interesting. Lily Tomlin's characters, as I said, they're a bit more at either end uh, of the extremes. So it was easier to tell with hers. Hers took less effort. I could then enjoy how she was reacting to things rather than trying to work out which of the twins she was playing. Um... And I just feel like it just, it was, I don't understand why people like it. It's a poorly written, poorly structured narrative that relies on the same joke recycled over and over again. That doesn't go anywhere. If you're going to repeat the same joke, you've got to ramp it up every time. It's got to get funnier, not just, oh, same situation, different person, or same person, different location. That gets old. 
really, really quickly. I think they could have made it much easier by giving them different hairstyles. Because hairstyles change. A person can very quickly tie their hair up or put their hair down. And it would have meant for the viewer that we wouldn't have needed to work hard at all to work out who, which twin it was at which point. Just put a slide in their hair or put their hair up when you're one of the other characters. That would have been such a simple way. And that wouldn't have stopped other characters from mistaking their identity. Because, as I said, you can put your hair up and put it down in the blink of an eye. The only thing I liked, and this is a spoiler because it's something that happens towards the end. So I guess spoilers for now. I have nothing else to say about this film. I think it was a terrible film. It wasn't funny. It was funny for about two minutes. Uh, and then it got really old really quickly and it just offered nothing. And I thought the characters, apart from uh, Lily Tomlin's character, who still wasn't that much of an interesting character or characters, um, most of the characters were really boring and, and just not interesting. But this one bit I liked. So this is what happens towards the end. Towards the end of the film... The two sets of twins meet and that initial meeting for about one and a half minutes, it was brilliant. I just thought their reactions, their hysterical reactions were, well, just that, hysterical. And then it got boring again. I just don't understand the appeal. It didn't work from a, from a, you know, a film writing perspective. It's a boring narrative with no action and no real comedy it's the same joke over and over again without getting bigger and better in terms of the characters some of the characters are better than others the performances are not bad the performances during that that minute and a half when they meet spectacular but other than that i don't get the appeal i would not recommend big business